Hi, Sammy here with Artistic Temperament Designs, and I am getting ready for Halloween. I'm starting a new build, and um, although I don't have a step-by-step, -step, I can kind of show you where I'm at so far, and maybe you'll get an idea of where we're going to go. Just a little bit more for Puerto Pinero and the Pirates of the Caribbean. So those of you who know me know that I decorate for uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Halloween every year. And I might make things from um, items I've purchased at the Dollar Tree, from um, hardware materials, insulation, and uh, just cobbling things together to kind of get a total feel. Here are a few quick shots um, of the project in progress. The foam insulation, spray foam, I'm using a hot, um, hot wire to cut the foam into the shapes I need and um, just putting everything together to get a really good piratey, Halloween-y feel. So I started off by getting some very thick pink foam insulation board. You can see that's about a thumb thick. And I've gotten a couple of those and I've built a pedestal. And the thing that's keeping this together is not just the spray foam, but I have also screwed in some very long screws here and there. And right now, of course, I'm, I'm not done, but I am working on some things. Um, that will be the pedestal. I'll go in and I'll carve in um, some stone forms and of course that'll be painted and then I've put this little crazy ledge um, I'll show you what the ledge is for give me just one moment I picked this item up at the home store and I thought it was amazing and here it is it is a carriage light but it's uh, kind of spooky it's got a little... there we go. so when this is done little carriage light and hang out in front of it and as you can see there's a second pedestal over there and this red tubing coming out of it and I'll explain that right now um, that tubing is going to um, keep these together and create sort of an archway for the trick-or-treaters to come through and what I've done is I've picked up some um, skulls at the uh, Dollar Tree. I've got at least one glow in the dark and then some darker skulls. And then I picked up a bag of bones at um, Home Depot and I took the vertebrae apart and drilled holes in it here and I drilled holes in the head and I'll be gluing down these little arm bones here. But as you can see, I've just used the vertebrae as spacers and gone up and one leg bone and a foot. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And when all of that's done, I'm going to hang the sign that I made. Please excuse my messy garage. I'm doing a whole lot of prep for Halloween. But in the end, this will be the sign I hang. Dead men tell no tales. So now you know why my garage is a disaster and I will give you more pictures and more updates as things progress. Happy Halloween. Happy trick or treat. See you next time.